Khanna, a Gujarati businessman. Now he was a miser. So, um, and one fine day, a thought comes in his mind: I want to pray to Krishna, but my praying should be such that I shouldn't, I shouldn't spend even one rupee. Then I am ready to, you know, pray to Krishna. So he just goes to a Guruji, and he says, Guruji, I have a desire to worship Krishna, to pray Krishna, to do bhakti, but I want to do a bhakti which does not involve any money. Is there any such kind of a bhakti? Then I am ready to do. So then this Guruji says, All right. I have a very nice bhakti. You get up every day early morning by four o'clock, take bath, and then you uh, uh, start worshiping Krishna. Then again, this man says, Swami ji, just now I told you I can't spend money without money. Then Guru ji says, Well, I'm not asking you to spend any money. What I'm simply asking you to do is do some manasi seva. That means you do the seva with your mind. So after taking bath, you sit down in a proper posture in an asan, and then you close your. Um, Eyes, and then you imagine you are waking up your Laddu Gopal. Here, yeah, Laddu Gopal. You know, Gujaratis they worship Laddu Gopal. So you are waking up your Laddu Gopal, and you are putting perfume on his body. And Gopal is saying, "I don't want to wake up now." He's putting his face this way, and then he's putting his face that way. And you are you are just requesting him sing some beautiful song, wake him up. Then you make him take bath, and then you dress him nicely. And then and then he says, uh, "Put some nice flower." And again, this miser said, "Look, I can't buy flowers." And this guru is like, "Did I tell you to buy something?" I'm asking. you to do everything mentally just close your eyes and do everything inside your mind nice flowers for him and now you make a nice halwa for him and then you put a tulsi leaf and then you make an offering so you do this every day from morning 4:30 to 5:30 manasi seva and then krishna will become very happy with you and you don't even have to spend a rupee on this and he was so happy he said this is wonderful So every day he made it into a routine. He used to get up in the morning. He used to serve the deities mansik just by his mind. Now he kept on doing it for few months, and lo, behold, there was a lot of change. He was feeling so happy serving the Lord every day. So he told his guruji, "I'm very happy, guruji. You have given me such a nice service. You know, I don't have to spend so much money. I mean, I don't have to spend any money." So he was very happy. Now he kept on doing this for many, many years, almost twelve years. Now one fine day, it so happened that it was his son's marriage. So you know, marriage means what will happen. It's a late night program and party and lot of guests and all. And he slept very late. So next day morning he got up late, but he doesn't want to leave his seva puja. That is his niyam. He has taken a niyam that he will do it regularly. So then um, you know, in the morning because he's already late, so he just uh, very quickly does all the seva today. Very very quickly quickly makes Krishna bath today. No, you know, slowly slowly massaging nothing nothing. Quickly quickly he make Krishna took bath mentally only, and then quickly he put the dress for Krishna and quickly he put the garland for Krishna because now. He has to go and make the halwa. Now, what happens when you make halwa? You just roast some some rava, and on one side you just you know put some sugar and little water and make a syrup ready. So he was just taking a you know mentally he was taking a bowl and he took uh, sugar. Now he had a habit of every day putting uh, four uh, spoonful of sugar. But today, because he was in a hurry, he ended up putting six spoons of sugar. Now, after putting six spoons, this is all mentally happening. He suddenly thought in his mind, "Hey, I put two spoons extra." So he immediately started taking out the you know two spoons back. And when he was doing that, what actually happened? Krishna appeared, and then Krishna held his hand tightly, very sweetly. Krishna came because he was worshiping in Laddu Gopal form. So Krishna came, crawling on his four legs and held his hand tightly, and he said, "Baba, what will happen if you put two spoons extra sugar? This is just mentally, right? It's not that you are actually putting, just mentally putting it. So what happens? You know, you know, in Hindi you say, 'Tumhare baap ka kya jata hai?' You know, what will your father lose if you give two spoons extra? Even in mentally also, you are being such a miser. Leave that two spoons. Let let my halwa be a little more sweet today. And then this man, he suddenly opens his eyes. That what am I seeing? And lo and behold, he sees Krishna is there, right there, mukha mukhi, face to face. He's seeing Krishna, and Krishna is holding his hand tightly, and Krishna is laughing very mischievously. And then he just disappears. And this devotee is so surprised that just because I mentally served Krishna, or Krishna appeared, Krishna accepted my seva. So it is. It is actually so easy to please Krishna. It's just that one needs to have one needs to have that sincerity. Krishna doesn't want our uh, money or our vibha or our aishwarya. What he really wants is our mind. What he really wants is that feeling. If he can do something with feeling, he will accept it.